Holy fuck, look at this. This is the launching dome? That's the gun, holy shit. Look at that. Look at that thing! Fuck. That's intense. I might not get another chance. It's a big space gun! Shit. Wow. That's fucking intense, man. Using electromagnets, too. That's a cool picture. All right. Let's do this. Let's fire this fucking thing. Oh. I'll never get used to that. Guess you won't have to. Are we about to become ammunition? Right. Have a seat. Comfortable? As good as it's gonna get. Okay, I'll activate the seat. You should be able to use the machines to load the bullet you assembled. How do you operate this thing? Don't know, I never tried this one. But pilot seats are notoriously easy to use, so it shouldn't be a problem. Oh yeah, it's notoriously easy. Don't worry about it, it's not a problem at all. Oh fuck, I actually do have to operate this. transfer our minds to the Ark. We also need to make sure it launches at all, so I tied them to a single switch. Just push the button and we're off. It's just that simple, huh? It's just that simple. What are you waiting for? Here we go. No turning back. Thank you, Simon. Don't mess. It's an amazing thing you did. I want you to know I appreciate it. Seconds. What's the matter with the envelope? Just give it a second. I thought you guys would have better bandwidth in the future. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. You gotta be kidding me! Five. Four. He still doesn't understand. Lost. Yeah, I saw. Then why are we still here? Simon, I can't keep telling you how it works. You won't listen. 
You know why we're here. You were copied onto the Ark. You just didn't carry over. You lost the coin toss. We both did. Just like Simon and Omicron. Just like the man who died in Toronto a hundred years ago. This is bullshit. We came all this way. We launched the Ark. I know it sucks. But our copies are up there. Catherine and Simon are both safe on the Ark. Be happy for them. Are you crazy? We're gonna die down here with those... Fuckers living at large on a spaceship. They're not us. They're not us. I'm sorry you feel that way, Simon. I'm proud of what we did. We made sure that something of the hundreds of thousands of years of human history survives, that something lives on. Oh, fuck this. Fuck. Fuck this. Fuck you. Fuck you, Catherine. You lied. And I believed in you. I trusted you. You said we're getting on the fucking Ark. We are on the Ark, you idiot. I didn't lie! I can't be responsible for your goddamn ignorance! You fucking fuck! Catherine? Please don't leave me alone. Catherine? Catherine? Yeah! Yeah! What a game. Whew. She didn't lie though. Catherine did not lie. She did not lie. She never she she kept the truth from us, but she didn't lie. I know that doesn't seem like it's the same thing. I I know it doesn't seem like those are different things, but I'm gonna let the credits play out and then I'm gonna have my final thoughts about this game. What a fucking trip that was. Woo! What'd you guys think? Woo! Wow. Next on the schedule is Dead Space. The original Dead Space. Which is an old favorite of mine and some a game I haven't played in <coughs> a very long time. It was one of the first games I ever cast on Twitch TV back when it was JTV. I think I still have some highlights of it somewhere. Although I'm not sure if they made it over from the tra transit, the plan of this, I don't know if they made it over from the transition from JTV to Twitch TV. Some of them were were deleted for archival reasons. Whew. I wonder if there's a postscript. Wow. That wasn't from the game. That still wasn't from the game. I told you there might be an after credit scene. <laughs> Let's enjoy this one together. I'm going to pull my camera out. Whoa. Is this... Did it work? What the hell? Oh, fuck. 
Sorry, I apologize for the photos, but I have to take a picture of this because I may not get another chance to. Oh, fuck, look at this. And then a lion comes out of nowhere. find Catherine just tears and disappointment <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm gonna take the camera out I just want to enjoy this that's a whole other discussion right there Lena we actually, we ended up in Skyrim. Or the, yeah. Welcome. If you're reading this, you have successfully entered the Ark. This survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Please continue with this survey. I feel normal. I feel invigorated. I feel alien. Better version of myself. How do you describe your mental condition? I feel normal. How do you describe your senses? As expected, normal. It's pleasant. Are you troubled by the fact that you are no longer strictly human? No, I feel fine. How do you perceive your new existence? Like a new chapter in my life. Do you think this new existence will be a life worth living? Maybe if we can find a new sense of meaning in this world. Would you rather be removed from the project and accept death? Well, we don't know what is around that next corner. Oh my god, look at that. Holy shit. Do you see that? <laughs> Don't go chase a waterfall. Holy mackerel. I'm still terrified like somebody's gonna jump out and be like, Oh, you're in hell now, bitch! Because <laughs> that's what this game has taught me. Catherine? Holy crap. Catherine! I can't believe we actually made it. Well, we did. I'm so relieved. It's okay, Simon. Everything's all right now. Oh, shit. Oh, shit.
achievement unlocked. The end. You'll notice how the face is completed now. I actually, I wonder, was it being completed the whole time I was playing the game? Wow. Wow. Well, that's Soma, everyone. Holy shit. Um... Fucking hell. Uh, I'm, I'm... Rarely do I play a game where I come out of the end of it... ...being left totally speechless. Um... This game was fucking phenomenal. Um... The face was split apart, yeah. I wonder what that's a reference to. Man. But, um... Shit. You know, the problem with doing a show like this is that you have to be talking a lot when... before stuff has happened, during stuff happening, and after stuff has happened. And... right now... When was the last time you had a horror game make you think like this? It's been a, a long time. A long time. Probably being made whole once again. Are they in the arc? Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, the... Whoa. Is the face splitting apart again? What's going on with the image? Now it's splitting apart again, which is weird. I guess it splits apart when you start the game over, and then, I don't know, that's weird. It's splitting apart as I'm looking at it. Wow. Um. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for going on this journey through Soma with me. It was fascinating. It was terrifying. It was awesome. It was... Um, this game is, yes, it's a, yes, it's got frightening moments, yes, I would consider it a horror game, but yes, it's, it goes deeper than that. I, I think, for me, what sold me on this more so than Amnesia, which I haven't played, I'm going to be playing later this month, is that it speaks to something deeper. It speaks to the same kind of stuff that Talos Principle spoke to, and to the idea of reality and life and AI and information and data and what is humanity and what is the difference between a human shell and a, 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 a computer robotic shell uh, driven by computer software, you know, an AI scan, what have you. I mean, it's just, it's incredibly well crafted, it's incredibly well written, it's incredibly well... Everybody in it is doing a really great job. And the only part that I think Absolutely, Lena. The only thing that I feel like I was missing... I don't think that the WoW stuff was wrapped up poorly, but I feel like... They ended it the right way. The Ross storyline was secondary to... Shooting the rocket into space. That was the mo more important thing. But I feel like I still don't necessarily understand... Like, why was Ross... I don't, the whole Ross storyline is still a little confusing, but man, this was a fun one. This one, this is probably. Now I'm gonna go out on, a, out on a limb and say this was one of the best, most enjoyable games I've cast in a really long time. I've I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed playing this, casting it, talking about it with you guys, and that's a really powerful game. I'm gonna be talking about I'm gonna be talking about this game a lot between the now, now and the end of the year, and I'll be talking about it again with podcast the podcast crew on Sunday. Um, maybe the whole wow thing could have been skipped. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That would be interesting to find out. Honestly, I don't know if I'll play this game again. Maybe it's I don't know that. 
it'd be interesting to see if there were other ways that the game could have been played, but I'm not sure that that's really the case. It doesn't seem like... Like, the funny thing is that we don't know that anybody else ended up on the Ark. We never saw everybody else who supposedly had brain scans on the Ark. We only see Catherine. We assume that everybody else is there and that there are other beings on the Ark because we programmed them there. But as far as we know, the only two people who made it onto the Ark were Catherine and Simon, which is strange. And then the Ross storyline... Ross wanted to shoot the thing into space. Could Ross have shot the thing into space without us? No. Because how would he have talked to Catherine? Also, how would he have piloted... It's so confusing. It seems like Ross was there to validate the WoW existence, not to strengthen the Ark storyline. But still, it was pretty fantastic. And actually, I like that there was some creature in this game whose intention was not to kill you. At least, until the very end. But... That was refreshing to have somebody who actually seemed like he was trying to help you. Um, between the, you know, oh, you turn around the corner and, you know, somebody's there. Um, the creatures were creepy as fuck, too. Uh, going from the crazy robots to the, the eye guy. I actually, it's funny. I think the, the other creatures, the other wow creatures, weren't as scary as the first one. And I think I skipped the whole one, like, really smoothly. Like, when I was picking up the battery... Oh, went out of focus. There we go. There was one that I got around really easily, so... Oh, man, what a game. What a game. Well, if this thing looks like your cup of tea, I highly, highly recommend picking this game up if you guys want to try it out. You should definitely play it for yourself. Uh, if you've enjoyed watching it, playing it is even better. Um, it plays really well. It is kind of frustrating that you can pick up, like, everything in the environment, but at the same time, it's kind of cool that everything has weight to it and physics and you can throw stuff around. I like that, but it also makes it hard sometimes to find the thing that you're actually looking for because you can pick up literally every item in the game, or at least close to it. It seems like you can pick up every item in the game. Um... There really weren't that too... I, I can't fault this game for too many things. It's just the right length, too. I think, grand total, this game ran me about... Let's see, it was four hours, eight hours, one hour. So about 17 hours. That's not right. 15 hours, give or take. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Um, that's That's a perfect length. Uh, any longer and it would have felt like it was I like it was I was running out of steam with it by the last hour or so but then again I have you know I have an attention problem with with most games um I think it's gonna do it for me I was gonna I was gonna start something else if I got done with this at a reasonable hour but I think I'm gonna let this one sink in for a little bit uh, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. I want to thank you for hanging out. I want you to come back on Sunday when we do the Crash Cast. We're going to talk about post-mortem on Soma and also talk about some other things. I'm not sure exactly when that cast will be, but follow us on Twitter. I will let you guys know. It probably will be at the normal 5 o'clock hour for the Crash Cast. We are going to do a real Crash Cast this time. It's been a couple of weeks since we did the last one, but we should have a full crew for that. It's going to be a fun podcast. We're going to be talking about Soma. We're going to be talking about some of the news in the last couple of weeks, some stuff that's coming up in the future, and we're going to be talking about the Extra Life cast in November when we're going to be doing the Game Gamepocalypse again. It'll be our sixth game Gamepocalypse where we're playing shitty video games for a very good cause for uh, Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, raising money to cure cancer uh, for um, kids in need. It's a very, very great charity. We do it every year. We really enjoy it. Uh, and uh, I want to thank you guys for being here. It's been a freaking absolute pleasure playing this. I'm going to have to, like, watch this back and sort of decipher the bits and pieces that I glossed over and missed. This one is a good one. This one is a really good one. Really enjoyed it. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to find somebody to host. And in the meantime, that's going to do it for me. I will see you back here on Sunday for the Crash Cast. And then probably we will start up Dead Space after that. Uh, so we'll have a nice fun day of casting on Sunday and uh, there's even a chance I might play something tomorrow that's not Dark Side Rob of the Damned related but 
That'll just be random. All right, guys. Good night, Storm. Good night, uh, Kama. Good night, Lena. Ah, oh, Chicken Hawk. No. Don't worry. We'll get you on the Ark, brother. Chicken. I'm so sorry. We just we we just finished, like five minutes ago. Like I've just been giving up my my final thoughts on the game. But uh, we'll have the stuff in the VOD, and we're gonna talk about the game again on Sunday during the Crash Cast. So. I'm sorry you missed it, man. Uh... Alright, guys. That's going to do it for me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for being awesome. I can't wait to see you guys again on Sunday. I look forward to it. Till then, keep playing those video games. Stay safe, everybody. And enjoy the journey to the stars. The Ark will take you there. That'll be a fun place to explore. The meaning of life. The universe and everything. Peace out, friends. Good night.